So one thing a lot of people have been asking for is a facts about me kind of video. So I figured I would do 10 facts about Bugsy and 10 facts about me. Completely random. Maybe you'll find some of this interesting. If not, um, sorry, my life's not really that interesting. He never grows a winter coat. And the vet says that is because, as many of you know, I pass out and uh, most frequently in the shower. So because of that, Bugsy comes in the shower with me every day and I take my showers particularly hot. Um, and the vet says that because he does that on a regular basis, it's actually tricking his body into not knowing that it's winter. Uh, so therefore he never grows a winter coat. My Aussie just never has that that poofy, dreamy winter coat that everybody wants to just hug all the time. I have four dogs. Um, we have Bugsy, the Australian Shepherd, of course. Then we have Shiloh, the Great Pyrenees, Great Dane, Irish Wolfhound mix. Um, she's a sweetheart, but she's about as big as I am. Uh, then we have two Greyhounds who are both larger than Shiloh. So Bugsy is the toy dog of the family for sure. I grew up with dogs that you could ride into battle on. Bugsy's favorite food is a tie between apples. He loves apples, they're like crack to him. Frozen green beans and thanks to my godfather, beer. Uh, he has this weird thing about beer, he loves it. I'm a vegetarian, but not the crazy kind. And I am what is considered an ovalacto vegetarian, not a vegan. I still eat dairy, I still drink milk, pretty much uh, the short way to put it, as long as you're not shoving flesh down my throat, I'm good. Like I don't care if people eat meat right next to me as, as long as they're not making me eat it, like I'm fine with that. That's what I mean by not the crazy ones. Uh, we're not really sure why, but as soon as we brought him home, we very quickly realized that if your boobs are anywhere near his reach, he's gonna go after them. Typical guy, am I right? But yeah, um, he, he has a weird unnatural love for boobs. Most people wouldn't guess it looking at me, but I'm quite the nerd. <laughs> I'm a Trekkie. I grew up with the original Star Trek series. It was literally my childhood. Um, you know, everything Star Wars, Doctor Who, everything that is like stereotypically nerdy I'm into. <laughs> Um, and if you haven't noticed from all of my other videos and 90% of my wardrobe, um, I love superheroes and comics as well. Also, the originals. I love both Marvel and DC, and I don't think I could ever choose, but if I absolutely had to pick one off the top of my head, I would have to say DC. And to add to my nerdiness, I am obsessed with everything space. Astronomy was my favorite class in college. It's amazing. Stephen Hawking and Carl Sagan are my heroes. The Science Channel, the History Channel, and Discovery Channel are just about the only TV stations I ever watch. When Bugsy runs, he's very graceful, but he's not like your typical herding dog. He hops like a bunny. Um, he literally hops. It's the funniest thing. I'll have to try to get a video sometime, but it's I've never seen a dog run like that before in my life, and it's hysterical. I was adopted from Sochi, Russia when I was little. I was born there. Bugsy was born about a mile down the road from our house. Bugsy has eight pairs of wings from each time that he flew. Um, we've only ever gone on two trips together, but each trip we had two flights there and two flights back. So that was four individual airplane flights for each trip, which obviously means eight separate uh, flights. And for each flight, we were able to get a little set of plastic wings. I have a tattoo of the international symbol for adoption on my right shoulder blade, and I have both mine and Bugsy's adoption dates tattooed on two of the three triangle points on there. And I also wear a ring around my neck that is engraved on the outside with the phrase one day at a time and on the inside is engraved with Bugsy's name and his exact adoption date as well. Um, I wear it as a necklace because I constantly lose rings and this way I never take it off, never have to worry about losing it. 
Um, it's definitely one of the most special things I own. I never ever take this off. <laughs> I definitely am very sentimental about both of our adoptions for sure. Bugsy's best friend in the entire world is our greyhound named Barley. They are inseparable. They're best friends. I have won four donut eating contests. That was obviously before I got sick and, and lost all the weight thing um, back, you know, when I could actually eat. <laughs> this tiny little girl was like 4'11", out eating all the gigantic football players. Um, so that was... That was always fun. And ironically, I don't even like donuts that much. I mean, I don't hate them, but. Bugsy's nose changes colors. We actually make fun of him, call him Rudolph every year around Christmas because it's not like his nose, but like the above part of his nose, like on his muzzle, it sometimes is purely white. And then other times it literally, it like glows red. It gets so bright, like beet red, like a tomato. And it's so funny. Uh, we can't really figure out what changes it. It's not affiliated with temperature. I live in a log cabin. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, all the logs behind me. Um, and you know, they're, they're solid. They're not, they're not, they're not like the fake uh, manufactured log cabins that are, you know, all look exactly identical and the logs are perfect and like brand new and look the same. It's different. It's not for everyone, but Bugsy was supposed to be a show dog and he actually didn't make it because he does not have a scissor bite. I got really lucky because otherwise his breeder would have kept him and I never would have gotten my service dog. I'm weird and I... <laughs> I enjoy the game Minesweeper. Judge me all you want, but that game was my childhood, and I am amazing at that game. My fastest time on Expert, I believe, was 126 seconds. I have done faster on, like, friends' computers, but I don't have the proof to show for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm weird. I love that game. I don't care how old it is. I don't care how simple it is. It's the best game ever created. Bugsy's favorite toy in the entire world is a gigantic, I think four foot long squeaky alligator with 36 squeakers in it. And it is bubble wrap for dogs and it comes in lots of different shapes and sizes and animals and everything, but he likes the really long alligator one. It also comes in a 16 squeaker version as well. Um, and that's the only toy he does not destroy. We have gone through just about every indestructible toy out there and he can kill it in under three minutes. Uh, my dog is an Aussie Shepherd with the jaws of a pit bull. Um, so even like the black industrial Kongs and everything, no, they're gone. They're dead. Um, and for some reason these alligators last. He will eventually kill one. I'd say he can make one last about a month, which is amazing for him. So we usually order three times a year each time we get four per package. Um, and that keeps him going. That's just about the only toy we can give him. When my parents brought me home from Russia, this is really ironic, I was actually terrified of dogs, um, mainly because there were lots of feral dogs running around the orphanage and everything. Um, so yeah, that's kind of ironic um, that, you know, for the first portion of my life I was deathly afraid of dogs and now my dog is literally saving my life on a daily basis. Bugsy does not have a tail. As many of you know, it is pretty common um, for Aussie Shepherds to have their tails docked at birth, um, similar to some other breeds as well. What people don't realize is that those little nubs can be just as dangerous and have just as much happy tail as a regular dog's tail. Those things, those things are the epitome of destruction. That dog will take down anything and everything. We call him Nubsy when, when he gets a little bit carried away. I grew up in a very, very musical environment. I went to band camp for, I think, nine years? And yes, it is real, and no, it is nothing like the movie. But yeah, I grew up playing the alto sax, the tenor sax, clarinet, the trumpet, the trombone, the guitar, the violin, and... 
There's more, but that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I, I participated heavily in chorus, show choir, concert band, jazz band, drama, pet band, all those things, all the way up from you know, kindergarten all the way straight through high school and into college. Uh, so I, I grew up definitely exposed to a lot of music, especially since my parents uh, were older than most of my friends' parents because I was adopted. I grew up also being exposed to a wide variety of music at an early age, ranging from Bob Dylan and John Fogarty all the way up to like, you know, Eminem and uh, Straight Note Chaser and the Piano Guys and, you know, classical music to Weird Al and all this stuff, so I had a very good upbringing musically and was exposed to a lot. Um, my favorite artist ever, though, is hands down Billy Joel. He's keeping my feet warm right now, so that's, that's a pretty cool fact. He is extremely bonded to my father. Um, honestly, it's really strange because Aussies tend to be one person kind of dog and he's not at all like that. If you didn't know any better that he was my service dog, you would think he was my father's dog. You know, when he's working, he's, he's mine, but he really, uh, they are surprisingly close and in some ways I am a little bit jealous. He's obviously my best friend and he definitely is my dog. Um, but I'm definitely jealous of some of the things that they do together that he doesn't do with me. I love Bugsy. He's my best friend in the entire world. I don't know what I'd do without him. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video from us. So, have a great night. Thank you for watching and thank you. Have a great night and thank you so much for getting us all the way up to 1,018 subscribers. You wanna go lay down? Yeah. You wanna go pee? You have to go pee? Okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Come here, come have it.